Good morning everyone and welcome to our backyard. Today's video is about our cardinal climber which we have on our five panel trellis and I want to talk about it because this year it's growing differently than it did in our prior years. We, go, we grow cardinal climber every year in our gardens and the reason we grow it is for this flower. It is um, a hummingbird favorite and the hummingbirds typically come to this flower first. This is an annual vine that we grow from seed every year and I just get the seed um, We've, we purchased it once or twice from a big box store, but we don't purchase it anymore. We just gather our own seeds every year. We purchased the seed packet from a big box store. I don't remember which one. Um, I'm surprised we still have it. Because <laughs> if you see here, we probably got it in 2013 or 2014. Um, which is the last one that we purchased. But the vine does grow very high. You'll see here the plant height is 10 to 20 feet. You plant the seed a half inch and days to germination is 14 to 16 days which is true unless you soak them. So just to show you, I collect our seeds and so we've got tons of Cardinal Climber seeds. So we haven't purchased the seed packets in a really long time. We direct sow in the ground and First, what we do is we do soak the seeds. So we soak them in warm water for about 24 hours and it really helps germination because they have such a hard seed coat. Um, and we then um, direct sow them in the spring. And down here in the Gulf Coast area, south of Houston, this year we were able to plant them in early March because we had a very early spring. But I see a seed here. Oops. I didn't get it. Am I going to get this one? Yeah. This one has got a seed in it. So when you collect your seeds, I do have a video on that. And I will link, oops, I will link my video. Ugh, I dropped it. I will link my video up at the top. Um, actually, I'll probably link the playlist so you can see. But this is what the seed looks like. It's a hard, hard seed with a, with a very hard seed coat. And so... Soaking the seeds for 24 hours in warm water really helps. It's the difference between about a two-week germination versus when you soak them, um, you get about a two to three day germination, which is, which is so worth it. We plant this in a couple areas of our garden. Um, one I showed you over there that we have trellised. And this one we have... Um, growing up fishing line on our fence that we have um, drilled in down at the bottom we have an eye hook and then we have a pattern that we've created on the fence that the cardinal climber grows grows on and we like having it because it's in the sun and it's taking advantage of this vertical space and the last few years when they have been in full bloom we, can, we have hundreds of these red trumpet-shaped flowers that the hummingbirds love. You can see that it has a tubular shape, just perfect for the hummingbirds. 
Butterflies also like this flower. So I have butterflies that go to the Cardinal Climber um, also. The leaves on the Cardinal Climber this year are not large and this Cardinal Climber is a hybrid. It's a hybrid so it is a cross between the red cypress vine and a red morning glory and so the leaf structure is a cross between them. This vine typically gets very beautiful and thick and the reason I wanted to do this video is because exactly one year ago today I did a video on our cardinal climber and it was gorgeous and lush and huge and I'm going to actually link that up top so you can see what it looked like. So why is this year a little different? This year it has bloomed early for us and it's pretty much bloomed all summer long which is not typical in the years that we've grown it in the past and it also has not filled in all along the trellis. There is still time, but one of the things that's very different this year is we have had a brutally hot summer. And I know I've mentioned this in some of my videos. Texas has got hit, and hit with a heat wave where since mid-June, we have had temperatures in the hundreds and the feels like temperature is in the hundred and teens. So we've had a lot of excessive heat advisories and I think this has definitely affected this vine, even though this is a tropical. The leaves are smaller, they're not as thick, and they're not as abundant. It is a plant that does need water and so we have not had rains this year like we typically do either. So we've had to ensure that it gets enough water, which we've been doing, but it has definitely affected this vine. In all fairness, the excessive heat and excessive heat warnings have affected almost all plants. Um, and it's really caused a lot of stress on plants. So typically during hummingbird migration season, which is coming up in just a couple of weeks, the start of it, we would have this vine completely covered with blooms with these red blooms and you can see we do have some and it is blooming it's just not to the level of the vine that we have seen in years past and the reason I wanted to share that is because sometimes we do have weather conditions that just make things difficult in the garden And here in Texas, south of Houston, we have this year, and it has been this excessive heat. It's wearing on people, and it's definitely causing stress to plants. So I thought this was a good time to share what this vine looks like exactly one year later. Again, it's not the same plants because it is an annual. And so we do plant it from seed every year. So these are new plants, but we've had different, different growing conditions this year. So anyway, like I said, I've linked up at the top. I'll also put the link um, in the description so you can see what this vine typically looks like for us. Very good. 
Well, thanks for joining me this morning. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And if you are in Texas or in the South, goodness, stay hydrated and stay safe. Okay. Have a wonderful day, everyone.